little smoky river Fallen timber, a strong standing tree. How's it going, everybody? Hope you can see me good here. So, I have some exciting news today. It's Dusty Tucker. I got a video for you guys today. This one is going to be a special one. Well, at least for me. This is an unboxing video. And what I have here in front of me is something exciting and I've wanted it for a very long time at least this specific one um, as you can already tell by the name of the video you already know what it is but um, this just came in the mail today uh, this is an unboxing video on a revolver that I ordered and this is a true unboxing video I have not touched it yet it's still in the parcel shipping and everything so we are gonna go ahead and open this baby up so what I ordered is a uh, U-Birdie, um, made in Italy, of course. Taylor and Company imported um, 1851 Navy uh, C. Mason conversion replica, basically, and it's 38 Special. And it's a 475 barrel, and it's octagonal, which is what I really wanted. I wanted the octagonal barrel. So let's open this baby up. Alrighty, let's take the parcel paper part off. You'll have to bear with me. I did not pre-open this. This is a legitimate unboxing video and first look at this baby. It's like Christmas. Okay, a box inside a box. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. It's like Christmas morning. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be able to do, especially with the laws that are coming in effect here. Hopefully not. Put this baby up. I don't want to cut nothing by accident. I'm trying just to... I don't want to cut too deep. Okay, one more box. <laughs> okay, so here's the actual box that it comes in. We'll get to that in a sec. Just wanna make sure that, okay, so this is my receipt. Uh, I think this is probably just filler. Yes, okay, all right. Sound a little heavier than that. <laughs> All right, let's go with the actual unbox. I've never actually purchased a brand new uh, firearm from Taylor and Company, but this will be my first one. And I went all out on this one because, like I said, I might not get another revolver. <sighs> okay, let's, let's do this. Ooh, it comes in a it comes in a black bag. That's nice. Sorry, I hope you guys can see this. It comes in like a little pistol bag, which is pretty sweet. No other uh, pistol I've ever bought comes in one of those. Looks like it comes with a little little uh, tool here. I'm not quite sure what that's for yet. A lock. Uh -huh. They got their logo on the lock there. That's pretty, pretty neat. What else do we got here? We got the Taylor and Company. Oh, it looks like a, maybe a poster. Oh, nice. That's cool. Look at that. I'm gonna have to put that on my wall. Sweet. I will uh, display that in my room here once I find room to do it. Okay, and here is the. Uh, it actually shows a picture of what I got, which is nice. Half the time when you order from Uberti or Pieta, it's, it's it's a completely different model of firearm that they show you on the little booklet there. All right, not for the main event. Let's open this baby up. 
little Velcro thing. Oh wow, it is, it's a lot smaller than I anticipated. Oh, there she is. Let's take it out of this plastic bag. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is cool. That is sweet. Look at that. That is beautiful. Very short barrel. I'm, I have <laughs> never owned a revolver with that short of a barrel before. This will be an interesting one. Half cock. Loading gate. Looks good. Um, well, nice. Yeah. This is looking pretty sweet. It's got the um, laser, it's actually, I think it's laser engraved. It doesn't look, yeah, it is. Laser engraved naval scene on the cylinder from the Navy. Um, on the top here it says it's actually engraved, or sorry, stamped, not uh, laser cut. That's nice. Taylor and Company, uh, Winchester VA. Uh, a Uberti, Italy. They kind of mash it all into one little thing there. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but on top there. What does it say underneath? Underneath 38, 38 Colt and 38 Smith and Wesson Special. Okay. Cool, I like that. Firing pin on the on the hammer there. Kind of neat how they uh, how they did that. I've never owned a conversion like this before. This is really cool. I like the brass backstrap and trigger guard. Really nice brass. Um, fit and finish is. Look, if I really want to, let's move closer here. Fit and finish. The grip and the brass fit pretty good. Actually pretty good. I would say better than Pietas typically do, which is good. This is a really good fit. Finish. Um, I'd have to do a full disassembly to tell you everything, but it looks, everything looks good. I don't see any burrs like I did with the Pieta. Um, this might be a little bit of a pain to try and take apart on camera first try. I don't have any uh, tools with me here at the very moment, but let's, let's test it out here. Half cock. Oops, sorry. I went past it. Very solid, um, very positive clicks on the, uh, the bolt, which is nice. And uh, hand. Everything seems very smooth. Very positive hammer pull. Very, like, there's no play in the hammer. I really like that, actually. Wow, that's really crisp and smooth. That's a nice action. On the side here, it has, on the color cased, uh, patent July 25th, 1871, and patent July, uh, July 2nd? Oh, 21st. 1872 pretty cool on the I don't know if you can see that or not that's neat very very small revolver overall like it's interesting I like it wow that action is very smooth and crisp very positive I like that huh I'm just that's a short barrel that's cool loading gate everything looks good Cylinder looks good, everything. Let's try the ejector rod. I know it's a little bit finicky with the conversion. You have to kind of go back a little bit. There we go. Big fat ejector rod. Probably a little overkill, but they probably use the same one for the other calibers. Nice. Sweet, sweet. I would try the trigger, but I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to fire a dry. 
first look at this thing, very, very awesome. I'm actually very impressed with this guy. Ran me about 840 bucks to my door. Um, yeah, I know, the, the fit and finish is really good. The wood has got a little tiny, um, like right here under the, there's a little bit that, I'm not gonna complain about that. It's actually, it's, it's really good. There's just a little bit of an edge there on the wood and um, that's probably the only part is the inside here that's that's probably it the metal is very smooth and there's no burrs it's it's very nice actually the serial number on this one has an X in it which is unusual for me but I don't buy too many new revolvers so that is really cool. I can't wait to shoot black powder out of that guy. First impression is I'm very impressed. And <laughs> I hope you guys are too. You can see that I, I wanted the octagonal barrel. I absolutely love the look of the octagonal barrel. Extra meat. It's got some weight to it for how small it is. It's really cool. Especially for the caliber too. Um, 38 Special. I can probably... Like, it's got a lot of forward weight, which is good because it's going to uh, keep the recoil down and keep the barrel down, which is really nice. I like the, the very positive brass um, sight on it. Let's see how she aims. Oh, wow. I wish the notch was a little bit deeper in the back of the hammer. It's a little bit shallower than I'd like, but it's still not bad. I still really like it. Full cock feels different to me than my 1851 Navy does for some reason. The hammer, I feel like the hammer comes a little bit farther back on the percussion gun, but that's probably to do with this uh, chunk of metal right here. This sleeve where the cylinder would have been cut. So maybe that's something to do with it. Overall though, damn, I'm really impressed. Look at the color case hardening on this side, on the lower piece here, beautiful. Actually, all around, this color case hardened job is really nice on it. Really impressed with that. Very nice looking revolver, gotta say. I love the fact that it didn't come with a really bright red grip like some of the, well, like lots of the um, Italy reproductions. They have really bright red handles, red wood in general, like my uh, 1873 lever action 45 Colt that I have. It's a really red wood on the furniture and it kind of throws it off a little bit, but this is really, really nice. I'm actually really impressed with this. I can't wait to take this out to the range. First impressions is, well, let's see if I can take this wedge out here real quick. I should have a wood. Okay, so I got it off. Um, I was really scared that I was going to damage that screw, but I got it off, or I turned it, I was able to turn it. It was really on there. Like, it was so on there that the tool that, I, that it came with, I actually bent it, trying to take it off. So, whew, that's that. Alright, now let's see if she separates. There we go. Nice, smooth... Look how tiny that barrel is. For us Canadians, trust me, that's a that's a short barrel. Cylinder? Really cool. I've never seen that before. That's 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 cool. That little that little uh what is that? Like a ring that goes in Oh, it's like a spacer gap. That's kinda cool. To fill up the rest of the space. Cool, I've, I've never had a revolver with that before. That's really that's really unique. Um, Arbor, everything looks good. Let's see, um, the metal, it looks, it, there's a little bit of rough cutting that you can see here on the face of this uh, plate. There's a little bit of rough um, machining on there. There's a little bit of, it's really sharp, wow, really sharp. Wow, that, that's definitely going to cut. Um, the edges here are extremely sharp. These corners are very sharp. I'm going to have to do some stonework on this to make it smoother. 
Um, there's a few reasons you don't want that that sharp. A, you'll simply cut yourself. But B, um, if fouling gets built up on the on the bottom here, if you got a bunch of fouling build up, what's going to happen when the cylinder is going to rotate is it's going to cut and score that cylinder or any kind of metal on metal contact. You're going to get lots of scoring. I'm going to have to do a bunch of um, I wouldn't say polish work to this, but I'm going to have to do a bunch of work to this before I want to shoot black powder for sure. Um, but the action and everything is really smooth and crisp. I'm going to Oh, inside, I take it back. There's more uh, more metal work that I got to do inside. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Inside the, the hammer rest on this side. Hopefully you can see that. There's a lot of scoring on there. I'm going to have to take my Dremel and polish the living crap out of that and disassemble the side of the hammer and polish that as well. It's just, I can feel it rubbing on there and that's not a really good uh i couldn't feel it before because everything was so super tight and everything but now that this is all, i can definitely feel it rubbing on there so i'm gonna have to do uh a slight action job on this actually i'll do a full disassembly and i'll just um go over every uh everything and just polish it the edges the sharp i'll take a, a stone and I'll just very gently bring that sharp edge to a more rounded edge so I don't cut myself or anything. Same with these points. That's very, like, that, that'll cut paper, guaranteed. That'll cut paper. Um, just stonework it smooth and make it not so sharp. Up here, too, I might do, eh, this isn't too bad. I might leave that. That's not nearly as bad as this. But um, overall, this is really, really nice this is a really good job um that they did with this very impressed let's put this back together here oh, let's not put it backwards gotta bring it back to half cock very nice revolver like i said very very impressed overall i dig it Put the wedge back in. I think that's the right way. No. Yes. Yes, it is. This is a really nice wedge, actually. Most of Pieta's wedges are really ugly by, like, machining and everything else. Ah, I don't want to scratch this thing. I just got it. I'm trying to be, like, over-careful with everything. There we go wasn't quite lined up properly wooden wooden tools <laughs> to put stuff back together and then this just needs a counter turn I don't know why that was way too tight it doesn't need to be that tight and then go back till it's touching that there we go so there we have it there is our C Mason conversion by Uberty imported by Taylor and Company 38 special uh, short barrel 38 special not 357 just 38 special or like this says um, 38 38 Colt and 38 Smith and Wesson special so I'm wondering if this will chamber 38 Smith and Wesson as well because I still have some of those casings but anyways i hope you guys um enjoyed this video as much as i did i cannot wait to take this out to the range it is really hefty for what it is it's a it's such a short little small caliber revolver but now if i compare this to my 1851 navy with the full length octagonal barrel and the percussion that's why i wanted this is so i could shoot them side by side have one granddaddy and one conversion but anyways i hope you guys liked the video this was my first look at the uh 38 special revolver here beautiful thing like i said it's imported by taylor and company uh 1851 navy conversion by uberty italy 
and first look very impressed overall i hope you guys like this we'll see you next time dust tucker signing out can't wait to shoot her